Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm going to show you a simple way to work with Python and PubSub. If you want to jump ahead, here are the video timestamps. First, we're going to enable PubSub in Google Cloud, and we're going to create a topic for the publisher to write to and a subscription for the subscriber to read. Then we're going to create a service account so our Python scripts have access to PubSub. Then we'll write the Python publisher and the Python subscriber. And because PubSub only allows string data to be passed, I'll show you how to add mapping or kind of JSON data. Now, first thing we're going to do is go to Google Cloud and click Console. And up top, type PubSub and click PubSub. Right now, Google Cloud is enabling the PubSub API. If this doesn't happen for you, come over to the hamburger menu, choose APIs and Services, and then Library. Search for PubSub, Cloud PubSub, and this button will read Enable. So I'll go back to PubSub, and I'm going to create a topic. For this project, I'm working with my house plants and garden sensors, so I'm going to call it environmental sensors, and I'll add a default subscription and click create topic. Okay, my topic and my subscription are created. Sometimes the subscription is not created, and if this is the case for you, click subscriptions, create subscription, and the name I always use is my topic dash sub. You choose the topic that we just created and everything else is left the same. Just come down to the Create button and click that. Next, we're going to create a service account. So go to the hamburger menu, IAM and Admin, Service Account, Create Service Account, and I'll call this Houseplant Service Account. For the description, I like to remind myself where I'm putting it, so it's going to be on my garden Raspberry Pi. And I'll click Create and Continue, and for the role, I'll scroll down to PubSub, and I'm going to choose PubSub Admin, so both my producer and subscriber use the same account. You can set up different keys, one for publisher, one for subscriber. I'll click Continue. I won't add anything in, and I'll click Done. Now I'll click on that service account. I'll go to Keys, Add Key, Create New Key. I'll stay with JSON and Create. Now this pop-up here is a reminder that this is a private key, so anyone who has access to it has access to our pub sub. So I'll close, and I'm going to rename that key as the reminder that this is the private key. So houseplants.privatekey.json, and I'll move it into my projects folder. And we're going to create the publisher. So I'll add a new file called publisher.py, and I'll import my libraries. I'm going to use Google Cloud PubSub v1, and in order to use this library, I type pip install double dash upgrade Google Cloud PubSub. Okay, and now I have access to that library. The next thing I add is the path to my credentials file, the JSON file we just created, and I'm going to add that to the Google application credentials key. Now I'll create the publisher itself, so PubSub v1 dot publisher client, and the topic path if I go back to Topics, click our topic, and this topic name, just copy and paste. Now, whatever I want the message to be published, it's just going to be in data. And so I'll say a garden sensor is ready, and I have to encode this to a byte string, so UTF-8. And to send this message, I just say publisher.publish. I list the topic path, give the data, and it's going to return what is called a future. If it worked right, this will be the message ID on PubSub. So we'll say published message ID future.result. Now in the terminal, Python publisher, that worked. And if I come back over to view messages, I'll choose our subscription and I'll click pull. And there's our message. Now we'll write the subscriber. So new file, subscriber.py. And we're going to start out with all the publisher code and delete the publisher elements themselves. Now I'll add one more library, so concurrent futures with the timeout. Now I'll tell it how long I want my timeout to be. It'll be five seconds, and I'll also show you how to do this indefinitely. Then I create my subscriber, so pubsubv1.subscriber client. And the subscription path, we're going to go over to subscriptions, click on our subscription, and then the subscription name. Just copy that paste that in, and now we're ready to subscribe. So to do so, we're going to say subscriber.subscribe, given the subscription path. Now we're going to create a callback function for when we actually do get a message. 
and we'll say that we're now listening to that path. The callback is going to be straightforward. It just says what the full message is from PubSub. Then we break down the string that we passed in, which is message.data, and then we send an acknowledgement. The acknowledgement tells PubSub to delete it from the PubSub servers, and if we don't send this, the message will stay there for seven days. The last thing we do is we open our subscriber. And so with subscriber, we're going to listen to the subscription stream. And you can say result passing in nothing. This is indefinite. Or you could say result passing in the timeout. So this will last for five seconds. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to go for indefinite. Then if there's an error, we close, we just cancel and we block. So let's open two terminals. On my bottom terminal, I'm going to open up the subscriber, so python subscriber.py. And on my top, there was a message waiting already. On my top terminal, I'm going to run my publisher. And there we have it. We've received the message. We'll send another. And we're able to subscribe and publish. Now, for the last part, because PubSub only allows you to use strings, I'm going to show you how to use mapped items or key values, kind of JSON values. So to add more complex data on the publisher side, just where we said data, we're now going to say attributes. And I'm going to list out the sensor name, temperature, and humidity. Then I'm going to pass it in and I'm going to unpack the data. So star star attributes. And when I publish a new message, we'll see we have attributes, but we're not using it yet. So we'll come over to the subscriber side, we'll go to the callback function, and we'll ask if the message has attributes, print the string, and then we're going to loop through the key value pairs. So for every key, get the value and print the pair. So I'll stop my subscriber, I'll restart, and now I'll publish a new message. And here we have the full message, and now we print out the temperature, humidity, and sensor separately. So that's how you can work with PubSub in Python in a nice, simple fashion. I really hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thank you.